What's up everybody? Crappie Kirby fishing today with Gary Robinson, manager of Bass Pro Shop. Gary, say hello. He's putting on a clinic. He's out fishing me, as usual. Uh, but we're having some success. Hillsdale Lake. Boom, on cue. Another 11-inch uh, crappie. Now, we are keeping those Gary, okay? <laughs> Gary's strung out on wiper fishing and the first couple 11-inch crappie he caught, he threw back. I had to scold him. But uh, hey, you show them that fish. Beautiful, whoa! Beautiful white crappie. True turn hooks, B&M poles, and a really light presentation, just a really light bite today. Fishing out of my tracker boat, which I love. Got back from Bass Pro Shop, did a complete overhaul on it. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to the service department, Tim, Randy, Andy, Tom. Did a phenomenal job getting me back on the water quickly. So, tracker service at Bass Pro, you can trust them. I'm trusting I catch a crappie. But it, oh, there he is. Hey, we're doubling up. And Gary's is bigger. Not the first time we've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. That's not funny. Beautiful day. We're the only boat. Take a look. We are the only boat out here. It's Tuesday. It is noon. Not the most uh, suggested fishing time. Am I right, Gary? No. All the old timers are out here at 6. I caught my limit by 7. Well, I got a nice night's sleep. I'm catching them at noon. Yeah, Gary actually fished Clint today and did phenomenal on the wipers. If you want to go on an adventure with him and catch some big fish, check out the Kansas angling experience. Gary's working for Brian, and you guys are making money hand over fist, right? Catching tons of fish? Uh oh, I better stop talking in this one. <laughs> You're getting a minute, I'll try to. I don't want your hole to go cold. <laughs> right there? All right, fill us out, it's done. Using the Garmin pan optics to find these fish. And uh, they're a little bit suspended, I, I would say, wouldn't you, Gary? Yeah. I might have crappie of the day here. Oh yeah, uh, let's keep going. Nice little ten and a half inch crappie that just won a one-way ticket to Greece. Gary's saying that the water is kind of extremely low here for the season, especially after how much rain we've had. We've had a, just a ton of rain, but I think they're letting the water out even faster than we're getting it because oh, this is a flood, flood plain. All right, here's another nice fish. Oh yeah, that's the one that got away. There we go. That's what we're talking about. 12 inch hog. Look at that hump on his back. Woo, beautiful white crappie. That's the one that got away last time. I think we're on him, brother. And that was on the top minnow, Gary. So they are a little bit suspended off the bottom.
and it's just the lightest of bites, just a little bit of pressure on the line. We're putting on a clinic, nine inch. Putting on a clinic. Once again, that was on the top. We've got two hooks going on. That was on the top hook, true turn hook. Gary got one. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a keeper crappie. Yeah, it's a keeper. You don't think it is? Nine and a half. Put it in there. Right there behind it. I'd like to have a fish fry. That's ten inches on the money. Oh, his mouth, his mouth's not in there. Come on. Oh, oh man, that's a big one. Felt like a big one. Oh yeah. Is that a keeper? Going blind in my old age. Yeah, this is nine inches too. When they're that close, might as well save them for next year, especially when we're having the type of success we're having them. We're having. Also, like to ch give a shout out to my buddy Chuck Falker. Garmin Regional Pro Staff Manager and all around good guy. I got a little Christmas in September this week when I received my Garmin Live Scope. If you haven't checked out the videos on Garmin Live Scope, do it immediately. It's completely going to revolutionize fishing. How many times have you heard that, Gary? This is the end all be all lures. This lure or this technology. It's so good it should be illegal, but I've heard that a lot. Gary's heard it a lot. I've seen it in person. It's pretty impressive. Gary says he's seen it in person and it's pretty impressive. You guys check out the videos. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, unfortunately, um, I've got the Panoptics mounted on my Minkota Tarova, and there's no more room on my trolling motor to mount the live scope. So I've had to completely buy a whole new trolling motor and it's going to be mounted here in a couple weeks by the guys at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, and then I'll be able to use that live scope and the panoptics together conjointly. And not only will you be able to see the structure and the fish in front of you, but the detail is so amazing, you can actually tell the species of the fish. I mean, and, and what a, oh, that's two bites I miss. And what a, uh, what a time consuming thing if you're out trying to catch crappie and uh, you're stacked up on, you know, gar or carp or something like that and you see those arches underneath and you think, oh, I'm on my favorite crappie hole and you're not even fishing the correct species. So. Check out the videos, subscribe to my channel. As soon as I get it installed, I will be giving a step-by-step -step demo of it. Until then, catching crappie with Bass Pro Manager Gary Robinson, Hillsdale Lake. What day is today? September 18th, 2018. I see them all, see them all suspended. 14 feet on a drop-off where it starts at 20 feet of water and goes down to 24. And these fish are suspended at 14 feet. And I keep having bites on my top minnow. There, Gary ripped one. That's like, that going. That's like a foot off the foot underwater. Oh, I got one. Doubling up. I don't want to brag, but whoa, mine's bigger this time, Gary. You saw it? Gary's got Garmin gear on his boat. And he uses it to just put the hammer down on wipers at Clinton. 1230 on a Tuesday, baby.
<laughs> That's why we keep a Garmin verb on the boat. There's a lot of naysayers. A lot of fishermen at Bass Pro that wouldn't believe this, right? Back it up. A lot of employees from Missouri, the show me state, so we have to show them the video of how well we're doing. Find another one. One right after the other. Now here's a, here's a good example that lets you know exactly that you are fishing too deep. If you see where I hooked that crappie, 95% of the time you're going to hook that crappie in the upper lip because crappie are always going up. When you hook a crappie like this, that means he has gone down, gone down to take the minnow and then the true turn hooks turn where the pressure is. So he's going down, so guess what? The pressure turns downward and hooks him in the bottom. So uh, even this one, if I look, I'm about six feet from where the bell sinker is. It's too low because these crappies are, are showing up on the pan optics at 14 and 15 feet. I'll show you right now so you know what I'm talking about. I'll show you the drop off. So if you take a look, here's the bottom, 20 feet, and it drops down to 26 feet. Right here, all these little things moving right there, those are all suspended crappie, and they're at 14. So if you subtract 20 from 14, we need to be at least 7 or 8 feet above these. Look, there's a big school of them right there, all suspended. There's a big school of them right there on some type of structure, a tree or something. But look at all those crappie that we are hammering. Gary's got one right now. Hillsdale Lake on a Tuesday. Well, I got to tell you, everybody, that was an incredible day of fishing, and we only fished for what, an hour and a half, Gary? Yeah, about an hour and a half. And uh, we ran out of minnows. Ran out of minnows, three dozen, and catch a nice 12 inch crappie. Gary's putting them into the live weather so you can see them, and we've got the Garmin Verb giving you a, a little uh, crappie cam shot. Let's take a look at that. Wasn't that neat? Uh, I want to take the opportunity to thank all my sponsors and my good friend Gary Robbins for coming out and fishing. You have a good time? Oh, it was a great time. Great good, time? Good, good to catch fish on a different lake. Yeah, and on a different level. He's kind of uh, all wipered out right now. <laughs> and uh, if you want to check him out, you're working for Brian. How do you pronounce his last name? Brian Andreka, Kansas Angling Experience. Kansas Angling Experience. And uh, it is an amazing experience catching those wiper that they're just born mad. So. Uh, it's quite a fight. Check them out at kansasanglingexperience.com. Check me out, crappiekirby.com. And, of course, thanks to Bass Pro, my sponsors, Tracker Boats, Garmin, B&M Poles. Woo! We love B&M Poles, baby. If you don't have one, you better get one. I always ask, hey, where do you put the batteries in these things? Because the bite feels so electric. It's just a huge thump. So uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. And put Hillsdale, Kansas on your fishing map. Beautiful lake especially during the weekday when we are the only, oh, I spoke too soon, one of two boats, the entire lake and the crappie are biting like that. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, click the subscribe and like button. Thanks a lot. God bless.